hello everyone welcome you all in this particular video in this video that we are going to work on machine translation project we have some text data in the english language but we want those data as a hindi text okay so here we are going to use mbot nlp sota model developed by facebook so little bit description that you can read here so this model is fine tuned on mbot large 50 data and this model can translate the english to the other 49 language so let's say we have some data as a English, but you want those data or those text as a Hindi, French, Chinese. So you can use MBOT NLP SOTA model and you can develop a machine translation project. Now let's come to the implementation part. So for the implementation, first of all, we need to install few library, transformer and sentence based library we need to install first. So you can use pip and then you can install but before this one try to set your runtime. Just click on runtime, click on change runtime and set your GPU runtime and after that you are good to go. Now let's try to import our library and then we can start implementation. So from transformer, transformers, import, what I need two things, I need this one embed from conditional generation and embed tokenizer why tokenizer uh, tokenizer i want let's say we have uh, some data english data but before pass this data into our model first of all we need to tokenize our data okay so that's why we are using here embed 50 tokenizer first okay tokenizer model now let's try to import a library and then we can define a model okay we are going to define here model input or model we are going to define here which model we are going to use this model here mbot for conditional we are going to use mbot for conditional generation from where from pre-trained model we are going to use a pre-trained model and this model available on facebook hugging face library you can see here you can just copy here copy this one and then you can define and after that let's run after model let's define a tokenizer class so tokenizer equal to I'm going to call this one here tokenizer from from where pre-trained model from pre-trained model and the same thing that I'm going to copy and paste this one this model and after that we have a data we have a data in the form of English language so for this one we can define a source data SRC language we have a data in the form of English language so we are going to define source English okay let's try to define a tokenizer class and after that we can define our input text so let's define an input text input text so we have uh, some input text in the form of list every time whenever you want to define a text you can define as a list okay so let's write some text like I love cricket but most of the time I play football football okay so this is the input text that I define after that I'm going to define a model input so model input equal to tokenizer I'm going to call this tokenizer class tokenizer input text because we are going to pass an input so input text return tensors why tensors I have defined as a PT because we are going to use a PyTorch model if you want to use a tensor flow you can define TF here okay now adding a padding as well okay because sometimes we have a less data sometimes we have a, a like max data so that's why we have defined a padding here and then truncation truncation equal to true Okay, now let's try to run this one. After that, we can translate our data English to Hindi. Okay, so translate English to Hindi. Okay, so for this one, we can define a tokens. So generated tokens model dot generate. And here I am going to define our data. So first we have we are going to define this input model model input comma 
second first wash token id here we are going to define our token id which one so this tokenizer class this tokenizer class and here after translation after translation in which language we want our data so we want our data in a hindi language so language code into a which language into a hindi language so we want a data in hindi language okay after that let's try to run this cell i hope it will work okay so we got one issue here so yes so here this is under the list we can define okay again we got one issue so force input force boss token id tokenizer that we have defined tokenizer dot language okay again we got one error here indian tensor error is small okay now let's try to translate this data whatever the data that we have defined here let's try to translate this data here now so translate translate here i'm going to define a tokenizer this tokenizer class first tokenizer dot batch decode here i'm going to pass our tokens tokens first and skip special tokens whatever the special tokens if i have in our this data then try to skip those data and then i'm going to call a translate okay so we got one error here tokenizer here after that i'm going to call a translate class here now you can check it out the output मैं क्रिकेट को प्यार करता हूं लेकिन अक्सर मैं फुटबॉल खेलता हूं सो सेम टेक्स्ट डेट वी हैव इन अ इंग्लिश आई लव क्रिकेट बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई प्ले फुटबॉल नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू चेक इट आउट दिस आउटपुट इन अ गूगल ट्रांसलेटर एंड देन वी कैन कंपेयर आवर आउटपुट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू कॉपी द सेम मुझे क्रिकेट से प्यार है लेकिन ज़्यादातर समय मैं फुटबॉल खेलता हूँ एंड वॉट इज आवर आउटपुट मैं क्रिकेट को प्यार करता हूँ लेकिन अक्सर मैं फुटबॉल खेलता हूँ सो द सेम आउटपुट डेट वी आर गेटिंग अगेन okay here as well as on a google translator as well let's try to change this word here okay let's try to write something else now this time what i want let's try to put it down this one let's try to put it down something else uh, what i can do yeah let me write i have completed my bachelor degree from punjab technical university and now let's try to run this one text model translate this word encode it and then let me check the output so it's right now here is translating it will take a few second to complete now maine punjab takniki vishwavidyalay se btech degree hasil ki hai so the same output that we are getting it's a easy right so you can use uh, any pre trained model here i have used a uh, mbot developed by the facebook nlp sota model you can use another sota model as well as well as you can use a simple encoder decoder method and then you can develop any types of machine translation project okay so this is all about in this video guys i hope you like this please like the video and subscribe my channel and please share with your friends as well thanks thanks for watching